The very nature of Formula One it means that a lot of people will have a lot of very interesting and very specific questions that they want answers to about the cars and the engineering and the sport in general. And a lot of you post those questions in the comments underneath these videos and please continue to do that because we've been looking at some of those questions and we're going to be putting those questions to engineers up and down the pit lane. One of the questions that came in that I found absolutely fascinating was what is the impact of stickers and other details on the aerodynamic surfaces of the cars, like the front wing, the rear wing and the floors? Well, I put that question exactly to James Key of McLaren. Here's what he had to say. Uh, not really. I mean, I mean we, we, we do have a spec for the surface conditions of the rear wing. I mean, whenever you have uh, any sort of uh, sticker or, or branding somewhere on on a rear wing, which of course is a great place to put branding. It's very visible and um, really sticks out. So we, it's a place which of course we use. But although it, so it sounds a little pernickety and fussy, the reality is, you know, the edge of a sticker is like a cliff to a molecule of air. And that the reality is, you know, even from the tiny little dots you see around here, which are used for visual uh, checks on, on wing deflection, um, you will see a wake coming from that. If you look at Flovis or you see the wet conditions, you will see a wake coming from those edges where the airflow is. And with a really high pressure surface, like the lower part, particularly the rear wing, but the top as well, any wake is a loss and it's a little bit less downforce than you'd have without it. So the, you know, the surface treatment of the, the rear wing, the front wing and the floor are all treated really seriously and um, almost polished really to make sure that they work okay. 